everyone, welcome back to Ormsby Farm. My name is Casey. So on today's video, ooh, ooh is bright. On today's video, um, we are going into the greenhouse. Everything is pretty much died in the greenhouse um, because my greenhouse is like 400 billion degrees. So what we're going to do is we're gonna try and take the shade cloth down. There is a giant hole. I'm gonna try to patch it up and we're gonna talk about what I'm gonna do going forward in that greenhouse. So if that is something that interests you, play that theme song. subscribers welcome hello we just bought this homestead it had a 55 foot um, high tunnel on it we have done a lot of work inside cleaning it up um, trying to get the ventilation kind of working in there but it's still not quite right because it killed literally everything it killed potatoes it killed onions um, what else has it killed plant starts all of it and that's with fans running 24 7 but I think what has happened, I don't know if you will be able to see it from here, but you will inside, is the um, shade cloth has ripped. Now let me just start off by saying that the, the um, woman that sold us the home said everything that she left um, was old and is now all messing up. <laughs> Literally a couple months into the homestead, but it's okay because we're going to make this high tunnel work for us. Um, just turning everything on now. But yeah, I've had potatoes in here, those died. I've had onions in here, those died. And it's not because of lack of watering, it's just because it's 400 billion degrees in here. And don't let the greenery over there fool you, those are weeds that need to be pulled. The potatoes and stuff have died. Um, so that is what we're going to do today. We're going to pull those and I'm going to pull this shade cloth down and we're going to try and sew it without having to buy a new one. So let me stop blah, blah, blahing and start pulling it down. So now that we got the shade cloth off so I can fix it, I'm not going to be doing it in this video, um, we're going to go in and we're going to talk about plants inside of this 4 billion degree um, greenhouse. So one, you see there's a fan up there and you see there's two windows. Um, one thing that I am going to do is I'm going to take those windows off and put in screens. Um, if you have ideas of how to cover those screens during the winter, leave them in the comment section below. But also, up there is another circulating fan and those little flaps don't open up all the way. So I'm going to take those off and put a screen there. So we're going to try to get this airflow kind of going. As you saw, I already pulled off. The, uh, the screen that was here, and it did a huge help. Huge help, y'all. Huge, huge help. But it still gets really hot. I am in zone 8A, um, and I know that I probably planted the potatoes and onions at the wrong time. So I'm gonna try onions again in the fall. Potatoes I'll do next year, and they're gonna go outside. Um, again, this is weed, y'all. The potatoes, they died. And I haven't watered for a couple days because they had already died and I'm not gonna waste the water on weeds. Um, but even if I watered every single day, it got too hot in here. So this is what I want from y'all, if I wouldn't cover up the camera, is if you know great plants to plant in a greenhouse that gets very, very hot, 
for Zone 8A, leave them in the comment section below. We are going to do um, some uh, lemon trees, lime trees, and kumquat, tw kumquat trees in there. And I may even try the corn in there because it said corn like hot and dry. So now um, I'm going to take you over and everybody has been asking, so I'm going to show you a suburbs um, update. All righty, we're at the suburbs. Look at that, y'all. Those were sucker plants. And they are doing so good now. Do I'm allergic to something over here. But look at that. And I have, I've been good. I have not um, tilled. I've not pulled weeds. Nothing. This is the suburbs. This is that hashtag messy garden 2022. I'm loving seeing all of y'all's videos that are joining in with all of us doing this so keep them coming so but yeah this is how the suburbs is looking tomatoes a cucumber i think i have one two three four five tomatoes and one uh cucumber because you can't have enough maters all righty y'all thank you so much for stopping by the greenhouse with me today and make sure you're following me on the social media so you know when i put that shade cloth back up because it is going to go back up um Thank you for tuning into this video. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure you're liking and subscribing and hit that bell icon while you're at it so you know that any time that I put new content on the YouTube channel, because you know it's sporadic sometimes because I got that country internet. Y'all make sure to follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook at Ormsby Farm. Until next video, y'all, be blessed. I'm coming.